Hello and welcome back. Last time we learned that tinnitus can be a burden. Furthermore, we heard that stress due to tinnitus and loudness of the tinnitus are not directly connected. Everyone can learn to cope with it. In fact, most people manage tinnitus very well. Today, we want to learn more about the loudness of tinnitus. So how do you measure the volume of tinnitus? When measuring tinnitus loudness, a tone is played to the affected person which can be adjusted with a controller until the played tone and the tinnitus are equally loud. Another way to determine the volume is to increase the volume of a noise until the tinnitus is masked by it. The patients can also rate the loudness of their tinnitus on a scale of say 1 to 10. The pitch of the tinnitus can be determined similarly. In addition to volume and pitch, measures of psychological distress are also recorded. These include sleeping problems, the ability to relax or quality of life. Many published studies have investigated whether loudness and distress are connected. This is done as follows. In the diagram, the x-axis shows how loud the tinnitus is and the y-axis shows how stressed the patient is. If loudness and distress were always related, we would see such a result in a survey. Low volume results in low distress, medium volume results in medium distress, high volume results in high distress. However, science cannot find a clear correlation. In fact, if you look at the studies, you see that there are many patients with loud tinnitus but with a low load of stress and vice versa. A patient once told me that he had two types of tinnitus, a quiet but variable one in the left ear and a different loud but stable one in both ears. The quiet one annoys him more. He never knows if it will change or what will happen to it. The loud one is loud but reliably loud and therefore not so disturbing. It can be assumed that the distress due to tinnitus originates from the intrusiveness or penetrance. This means how well a tinnitus can be ignored, how well one can distract oneself, how penetrating and intrusive it is. Many patients cannot distinguish loudness and penetrance well, although there is a difference. Distress and penetrance of tinnitus originate in the brain from thoughts and feelings. Serenity and little stress can help someone get used to a loud tinnitus as well. This is not easy, but the experiences from many of my therapy sessions have confirmed this. The foundation for any therapy should be based on the knowledge of the videos 1 to 4. Only if you know that besides the ear, the brain plays an important role too, you can consider possible therapies. You will hear about therapy options in the next video. Mm -hmm.